Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For, for we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. It is said that behind every successful man, there is a strong and silent woman. In this case, the wives of the three magi came from the east to follow the star and came to a newborn king. What of them? What part did they play in their husband's preparation for the long journey? Let's listen in and see. You won't believe this, girls, but last night Balthazar got Mal coming back to the tent from the bathroom. I wanted Balthazar to get some new transportation before making this trip, but he insisted that our old two-hump camel is good enough. I wanted one of those new sport model one-humpers. They're really cool. They get better mileages, too. Casper has all that camping stuff we got at the bazaar sale last year, so he didn't need any of that. He was worried that they should each bring some kind of gift in case they found the cave they were looking for. They had a sale going down at the Murmur, so we stopped up. Balthasar had the same idea, but of course he is too busy to go shopping, so I had to do it. He suggested a gift certificate to the Olive Garden. I thought it might be better to give money. We compromised on gold, and I cashed in a CD and purchased some little gold figurines and boxes. Melchior has a cousin with a tree orchard that produces the best frankincense. It's the loveliest fragrance. Would you believe he wanted to give a grooming kit and a bottle for eternity for men? Ew. <laughs> Go figure. I got frankincense instead. Well, that's it then. They'll have gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I just hope King Herod doesn't get wind of it, or he'll want it for himself. I wonder what is taking so long for our lunch to be ready. It's always so slow here. You know, my Melchior told me that the real reason for this trip was to determine if the newborn was a prophet as foretold, a healer, an earthly king, or a god to offer their respects accordingly. I wish them luck. They'll need it. That's for sure. A new earthly king would have to deal with King Herod. And you know what a terror he is when he gets in one of his moods. You know, I have a feeling that this trip will be different. I believe that this newborn will be someone special, who will bring healing and hope to all people. Call it intuition if you want, but I feel it strong. Amen to that. That has been our dream for so long. I think we have waited long enough for lunch. Let's just go check out that new kebab stand. Good idea. I never really cared for a lamb quiche anyway. 